Hi everyone, welcome back to Center. It's day eight, the beginning of week two, and today we're going to relax a little bit, meditate, get cozy, and hopefully this will leave you feeling great. So wear some extra comfy clothes today if you like. Bring a blanket or a towel if you have one, maybe a couple of pillows. If you don't have any of these things, don't worry. We'll still find what feels good together, no matter what. I think I can safely say that on day eight. Let's get started. Okie doke, let's begin in a seat. If you brought some props to the practice today, just take a second to get settled in. If you didn't bring anything, no worries. You don't need anything but your body and your breath. I'm gonna come to sit on one of these pillows. And as you get settled in here, just take note for today and all the other days after this, including after day 30, just having a real clear beginning is a great way to keep a consistent practice at home going because it's a very clear delineation. Okay, I'm starting now. And that's a wonderful way to find your center on any given day by having a really clear beginning. So it's day eight. We're gonna sit up nice and tall and ease right in. We've set our space up. Whether you brought props or not, we're coming into a nice tall seat. And we're using the tool of the breath to tell the brain, ah, oh, we're slowing down now. We're shifting gears. We're finding a new rasa or a new flavor. So allow your hands to rest gently in your lap or on the tops of the thighs. And while we've been working a lot with this notion of steadiness, of strength, support with the core, in yoga we call this sthira, we're gonna find the opposite of that and accentuate the opposite of that today, which is softness. Uh, easiness or a sense of ease and the Sanskrit word for that or the term for that in yoga is called sukha. So try to come into stillness here with the eyes closed and just allow your breath to flow nice and easy. Soften through your jaw and relax the forehead, the skin of the forehead. And just notice where you're at today. Is the mind kind of busy? Are you feeling a bit fidgety or agitated here? Like it's hard to sit still. And I know you know this, but just a reminder, we are observing without judgment here. But I think a big part of the centering practice is giving yourself the time and space to notice, to observe, to really check in and be honest with yourself. And a lot of times that can be, oh, my mind is super busy. I'm stuck in overdrive. So just take a couple moments here with yourself to observe. Mm 
Then as you're ready, gently begin to deepen your breaths. Keep it nice and easy, but nice long inhalations. Start to elongate your breath pattern. Slow, long exhalations. Noticing just where your thoughts go, acknowledging them and coming back to gentle, deep breathing. Now bring your mind's eye to the base of the spine, the root chakra, that pelvic floor hammock, and we'll start to draw a line from the base of the spine all the way up, and then allow that awareness to gently lift the crown of the head up. So nice and slow, we're basically reacting to the awareness. So we start at the tail, and you start to draw a line all the way up through the pelvis, through the low back and the belly. And again, responding to that line that you continue to draw all the way up the spine until we are marrying a little bit of sthira with sukha. Sitting up nice and tall. Great, you can keep your eyes closed here or you can bring your gaze to a soft one down gently past your nose. And we're just gonna take the left hand to the earth and just slide it on your mat or your blanket as you slowly, softly reach the right fingertips up. Your left elbow might come down towards the ground, might not, every, everybody's different. And just keep the right fingertips soft here. Nice and easy, stretching all the way up towards the ceiling. And then when you're ready, all the way up and over to the left. Inhale to reach. Exhale, listen carefully. Bring your right hand to your left kneecap. As you come up through center, keep the right hand there. And we'll take the left fingertips all the way up and over. Breathe. Inhale in here, exhale, left hand comes to the right knee, melting the heart back, chin to chest. Should feel a nice stretch in the upper back body. Inhale in, exhale, release. We'll slowly come back through to center and now take the right hand, slide it on the earth. Inhale, left fingertips all the way to the sky, straight up. And then up and over, deepening into the stretch. And then allow the left hand to melt down to the right knee. Right arm reaches all the way up and over. Let the hips be heavy here, melting the weight of the lower body down into the mat as you reach from there. And then right hand comes down to the left knee, chin to chest, heart back. Stay here for a breath, feeling that deep stretch in the back of the neck. On your next inhale, reach both fingertips all the way up towards the sky. Big breath, big stretch, and exhale to float the fingertips gently down to kiss the earth. Lovely. Inhale in here. Exhale, let everything go. All right, we're going to keep the left heel hugging into the center of the body and extend the right leg out. 
Left hand to the earth, inhale, reach the right fingertips up and over, side body stretch. Now listen carefully, we're gonna melt the heart back, round through center, and you're gonna reach your left hand to the outer edge of your right shin. Maybe. Or right thigh, that's a good modification. Or if you're like, I'm ready, you're gonna take it to the right ankle. Maybe even the outer edge of the right foot. So find what feels good here. And a little kind of variation of Janu Sursasana. Not quite. That's head to knee pose. Benji is my bolster here. Thanks, buddy. And then we'll release, take it on to the other side. So right heel comes in, left leg goes out. Slide the right hand to the earth, soft and easy. Left fingertips all the way up and over, stretch. And then melt the heart back, round through the spine, come through, take your right hand to the outer edge of the left leg. Left hand can press into the earth. Oh yeah, breathe. Nice lower back love here. Glorious. Now bring both heels in. Cobbler's pose. You can take your hands to the arches of the feet. Give yourself a little foot massage here with the thumbs. Okay, Benji, you're gonna have to move soon. I think one more posture and then you're out of here, buddy. Just kidding, guys. I don't want to hear about it in the comments. I just, I would, would never kick Benji out. Inhale, lift up the heart. Exhale, bend the elbows left to right and melt the chest forward. Tops of the thighs are actively drawing down here. Keep the skin of the face soft, nice and easy as you breathe. Opening up through the inner thighs. The hips. And then slowly tucking the chin to roll it back up. Lovely, okay, oh, okay my love. Now we're gonna come to seated with the legs out in front. Here buddy, come here, come on. Oh, you wanna come over here? Come here, come here, come here. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna roll with it, let's roll with it. So seated with the legs out in front. Inhale, reach for the sky. And exhale, Paschimottanasana. So navel draws in. We think up and over, slowly coming forward. Now this is a great posture to recruit your pillow or one of your pillows so that you can find a little bit of rest in the forehead. like so. Take a second to find a version of this seated forward fold that rocks your world today. And then stay with it a bit, a couple breaths in and out, in and out, in and out. Notice how the breath has a rise and expansion to it. And the exhale is an opportunity to melt. Melt any tension, soften anything that's gripping or holding. And we're talking muscles, but we're also talking energy. Anything that we've been holding on to that it might be time to allow to melt away. It served its purpose. We can say thank you and let go. Keep the feet flexed here as you tuck the chin into the chest and slowly begin to roll up. And then 
We're gonna slowly come onto our backs. We're gonna skip the roll down today. So you can do the core roll down if you want. Otherwise, we're gonna come onto our backs. Let's have our blanket and anything we brought handy. And then when you get there, we're gonna keep the left leg extended. You're gonna bring the right knee up and then slowly sending the right foot towards the sky. We're gonna interlace the fingertips behind the back of the thigh. Remember, we're avoiding the back of the knee, so back of the thigh or all the way behind the calf. You're welcome to grab the big toe with your index finger and thumb if that is suitable for your body today. But if you're doing that, make sure that shoulder's not being pulled too far out of socket. You want to be able to drop that shoulder down, in my opinion, to keep the shoulders nice and leveled here. Pull the right hip crease down. Keep the left leg heavy. And then we're gonna point both toes, point both, and flex. I'm keeping my left leg heavy today, but you can of course let that left leg hover if you just want a little core activation, a little more core activation. Now bend the left knee, and we're gonna cross the right ankle over the top of the left thigh, recline pigeon. So let the sternum melt down into the earth, keep the shoulders relaxed, and then find your one-legged king pigeon here, or one-legged reclined pigeon, excuse me, with the feet flexed. Keep the skin of the face soft, and then maybe today we invite a little soft rocking, massaging the sacrum as you squeeze the legs up towards the chest. Each inhalation an opportunity to feel a little expansion, a little rise, a little wave. And each time we exhale, an opportunity to soften and let anything that's no longer serving you melt away. Great, release, uncross. And we're gonna just switch sides. So extend the right leg out long, flex the foot, send the left toes up towards the sky, find your hamstring stretch on this side. Maybe close your eyes if they're not already. Relax your shoulders. And then when you're ready, pointing and flexing, option to let the right leg hover. And then bending the right knee, crossing the left ankle over the top of the right thigh. Excuse me, I got, got really relaxed there. And finding that gentle rock here. Both feet are flexed. You can kind of use the left elbow to press into that left thigh, maybe. And the soft massaging of the low back and sacrum here as you squeeze the legs actively up towards the chest. And then we'll slowly unravel. 
Extend both legs out long. Inhale, reach the arms all the way up and overhead for a nice full body stretch. You can point and flex the feet one more time. Inhale in, full body stretch. And exhale to slowly bring the hands all the way back down to your side. So I'm gonna give you a couple options here at the end. We can come right into a reclined cobbler's pose, soles of the feet together, or we're gonna take a twist before we do that. So if you're, you're down for a twist, if you're just ready to be in stillness, allow allowing gravity and breath to kind of open the hips, then straight to cobbler's pose you go. Otherwise, we'll hug the knees into the chest, inhale in, exhale, melt the legs to one side, any side, turn the head in the opposite direction. Everyone, close your eyes, breathe in, and breathe out. If you're in the twist, slowly melt it back to center and take it on to the other side. Maybe turning the head in the opposite direction. If you're in cobbler's pose, breathe into your belly. Everyone, let the weight of your legs be heavy. Reclined twisters, melt it back to center. And let's all meet for a moment or two in reclined cobbler's pose. So knees are wide, soles of the feet press together. Hmm. Activating that parasympathetic nervous system today. Inhale in through the nose and sigh it out with a little sound. <sighs> I know it can be a little shy in the beginning, but let's try it again in case you wanna join in. Inhale through the nose. This one's for the people in the back. <sighs> One more time. Inhale in through the nose. Sigh it out. <sighs> Melting the weight of your shoulders down. And then we'll take a second here. You can stay exactly where you are. Maybe grab your blanket and put it in, on the hips. This is a kind of nice option here if you want to stay in cobbler's pose. Or you can go full burrito and take a second, wrap yourself in your blanket, depending on where and when you're practicing this, it might be a little chilly. So you can slowly take a second to get situated here. I'm gonna go full burrito. And I'm gonna go both pillow under the backs of the knees, if Benji will allow me. And this is, this is, this is yoga. This is our yoga, right? Listening and responding. Not doing what somebody else tells you to do necessarily, but listening to your body and responding. So take a second to get set up. And I cannot stress enough if you didn't bring props or you don't have anything, you don't need that to find what feels good. You can snuggle the shoulder blades underneath your heart space. You can start to breathe in for four, hold for four, out for four, finding a little box breath. You can bring the index finger and thumb together for a little mudra. Arms maybe resting at your sides. Or you can bring the hands to your body, maybe on the belly or the heart. And 
Now, let's breathe in together deeply in through the nose. And as you exhale here, allow the full weight of your body to melt into the earth. Eyes are closed. And we take a real solid, beautiful moment here to breathe easy and chill. Scanning the body for any areas where you might be unconsciously holding, clenching, tightening, carrying. If you come across any sensation like that, see if you can let it melt. And this is a practice that, again, we can never really know the full value, full impact. But when I started doing this in my Shavasana, and even in the asana on the mat, I started noticing how often I was doing it off the mat, before bed, just melting my own tension by simply noticing that I was gripping or holding, tightening. We'll take a quiet moment now to rest. Allowing ourselves to just simply be here, present with what is. As you're ready, slowly begin to bring some awareness back to your fingers and toes by maybe giving them a little wiggle, soft, easy movement. And allow that soft, easy movement to inspire soft and gentle gestures whatever they may be for you, any little moves that would feel good as you begin to wake up the body here. And when you're ready, draw the palms together and hands up to third eye. The melting practice is such a beautiful one. It's, it's wonderful to relax and to unwind, but to also Catch yourself, notice when you're holding, gripping, carrying tension that with one or two or three simple acts of awareness, of love, self-care, you can mindfully let it go. Inhale in deeply to close this, dare I say, delicious practice Thanks everyone, I'll see you back here tomorrow. Get ready to move again. Thank you, take good care.